Hi, I'm Kevin, and this is the Kevin's Shop video. This is a drill press that I have, and I've had this since about 1986. And um, it's a 16-speed uh, drill press, and it uses belts and uh, three pulleys to change the speeds on this drill press. And I wanted to show you an upgrade I made to it uh, to make it a lot easier on me in terms of changing the uh, belts. So to change the belts on this unit, it has this set screw and plunger arrangement. And what you have to do is loosen the uh, set screw and then um, pull the motor back, change your belt position, and then push the motor back and then retighten the uh, set screw. And there's times when I find that's cumbersome, it's a lot of operations, and I was trying to come up with a way to make that a lot simpler. So what I've done is I've removed the plunger and the set screw, and then I've added this little plate here uh, on the motor. Uh, this is where the motor swings back and forth and makes tension on the belt. And I uh, made up a little piece of uh, steel channel that fits right over this casting on the side of the drill press and that gives me a nice flat surface to work with and then I made this uh, cam lever and it will sit against this flat uh, piece of channel and then I uh, made this uh, L piece here uh, that fits over and then this screw th threads into the hole that the set screw used and then I have a spring on here so that I can add a little tension to this cam lever. So I have two pieces of metal that are sandwiching this cam lever and that allows it to stay in place and not flop around. Now I can easily change the speeds on my drill press. I can open the cover, loosen the motor, change the belt position, and then reapply uh, the tension on the belt. Another upgrade I made to this drill press is originally it has a couple switches on the side here, uh, rocker switches. One is for the light and then the other one uh, was for turning the drill press on and off. And I found that that switch was cumbersome. So what I did is I came up with a switch that I could uh, uh, use on the front of the drill press. It's easy to operate uh, when you need to shut the drill press off in a hurry. So this is the switch that I made uh, for this drill press and what I use is this is a, a shallow outlet box and then uh, I put a little cover on it. I had to cut the top of the cover off so it would fit flush to the uh, drill press. And what I have inside is just a standard uh, on off switch and what I did is I created a yoke uh, that I attached to the shaft and that allows me to operate the switch. And it turned out to be a huge upgrade for me now because it's a lot easier to operate the on-off switch on this drill press. This upgrade is just a simple chuck holder um, device that I came up with a weight. It's a simple way to get your chuck key up out of the way and then easy to grab and extend down to the uh, chuck of the uh, drill press.